Okay, uh, can you please state your name? Yes, my name is Daniel. And I've been in this predicament since over 30 years now. I used to live at the Frontier Hotel. I try, I'm trying my best to get back on my feet. And I'm working on it as best of my ability. I don't give up that easy. Hopefully that sooner or later something's going to happen eventually in due time. But it's just a matter of faith, a matter of, you know, of honor. I mean, not giving up. I hope that things will get better ahead of time. I've been out, you know, like this too long. And I'm just hoping that God, you know, will definitely will help me. I know He will. As long as I'm not giving up, I got nothing to do but pain and pain is quite a blessing by Him. Um. Were you raised believing in God? Yes. Are your parents uh, religious? I am a Christian. You are a Christian? Yes. My parents in El Salvador, where I'm originally from, which is Santana, the small village next to the capital city of San Salvador, they were pastors of the Salvadoran church. I am the only son. And for years, you know, for those years, they were executed during the Civil War in the late 70s and 80s when I was born. I was the only child. And they were blessing him down in the partial of my life. It is hard for me to let things go and to not hold the grudges towards you know, people that does us wrong. Where do you think wrong comes from? From the devil, from the Satan. Because the devil can do whatever it takes to get his hands on anybody. And people are just not aware of what what is real and what is not. What does exist and what does not exist. So you think the devil exists, right? Yes. I believe that the hell does exist. And most likely above us right now, the Lord, you know, Jesus Christ Himself, the Son of God, does you know, exist, including heaven. But eventually, as they say the old saying, which is true, and I do believe in this, in those words, which are that the end is really closely near. People need to wake up and realize, come to reality. Start you know, realizing what is the difference, what's going to happen, because in due time, this is, this is right here, all of this is temporary. Us is temporary. Have you ever, have you ever faced a devil? No. Then how do you know it's real? Because I noticed that when I was reading a Bible, there was like certain different Bibles. One of them, it, show, it shows exactly the picture of what the devil looks like. How does he look like? He's, a, he's Satan because he's like a demon. Like an invisible, invisible demon? Yes. But it can also be not invisible, but it can, it can, you know, definitely take up, you know, take control of your body, your mind, your spirit, your soul, is what he, you know, craves for. Right. He can power, you know, take over the power of it to control, if you let him. My advice, I don't do that. Right. People work, you know, Worship satanic type of things. They do like idols and statues as their own gods. That's satanic. I don't worship none of that and I don't believe in none of that. I don't bow down, I don't kneel, I don't pray to them. Because that's not my God. My only God I have that created all of this, all the living things, including human, from dust. So you think he, uh, he's, he takes care of you? Yes. And uh, 
If it wasn't for him, my family would have never existed. My family would not become a pastor as they were. And they were a blessing to me because they never abused it physically or sexually. What's your name again? Daniel. Daniel. Daniel, and um, are you happy? I am. But the only only thing that I'm not happy about is that when they are no longer is, exist, but their spirit does, is what keeps me happy. Their spirit. So they, they passed away? They were executed. They were, that's why I'm sorry about the years. Um, but my adopted parents, they passed away. They were killed in a car accident by a drunk driver. Went through the windshield head first on the year of my high school graduation year. When I was learning my English as my second language here, which was my primary goal, my commitment, my promise to make my family proud. That is the reason why I'm doing this. Okay. I finally finished my whole high school education, including college. On my spare time, I still study, no matter what. But I still read the Bible. I pray every day. how did you end up here in downtown? Well, I was in different places in my childhood life since then. Foster homes, school homes, placements, boarding cares. I've been physically abused. I've been almost sexually abused and held against my own will, my own freedom. I don't like violence, and I'm against that. Daniel, if, uh, if, God, if you believe that God takes care of you, where was this God when you were going through all this um, sexual molestation? Good question. I do not know. Because, you know, if I only knew the answer to that question, I would have told you. But at this point, I just don't know. Okay. Um, okay, Daniel, that's it. Uh, thank you for... Uh, giving us a chance to talk to you, okay? It's always a great honor. Okay, thank you, Daddy. You're very welcome.